What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 firmware using Red Snow 0.9.15. So there are a couple of things you need to know about this jailbreak before we get started. First, yes, it is available for both Mac and PC. I'll have all the download links down in the underbar. So check out down below uh, and where you can get Red Snow. Also, this jailbreak is semi tethered. So that means you can turn off your iDevice and reboot it without any issues. But if you reboot, you will need to run Red Snow again in order to access Cydia and and uh, basically all the things that you installed via Cydia, all your themes, all of your jailbreak data, all of your jailbroken apps and stuff like that. So I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video, but keep that in mind that this jailbreak is semi-tethered. Now, as far as the devices supported, this jailbreak on iOS 6 only supports iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch fourth generation. No other devices are supported as of right now. And finally, yes, Cydia is automatically installed using this jailbreak. I know on my last jailbreak video, you had to install Cydia separately and manually and jump through a whole bunch of hoops just to get it and people including myself had a whole bunch of issues in, in trying to get it right uh, so now it's all automatic it's all done through red snow and it's nice and easy and there shouldn't be any issues so first things first, go ahead and download Red Snow if you haven't already and open it up and it should look something like this on your computer. Once it's um, opened, go ahead and connect up your iDevice, whatever you're gonna jailbreak, to your computer via USB and go ahead and quit iTunes or anything else that you don't need right now. Uh, just focus on Red Snow and make sure your uh, device says uh, connected, whatever your device name is and whatever firmware, preferably 6.0 because that's what uh, that's what this Red Snow supports and that's what we, uh, we're gonna be using. So uh, once that's all done, the first thing that you're going to need to do is put your device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is hold down the home and power button for about 10 seconds on your device simultaneously. And um, after about 10 seconds or after your device powers off, go ahead and then just release the um, power button, but keep holding down the home button for about seven or so more seconds uh, until iTunes recognizes your device in DFU mode and uh, Red Snow recognizes it right there. So uh, now it should say connect uh, whatever device you are jailbreaking, uh, jailbreaking and then DFU mode. So once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and start the process. So first thing that you need to do is go ahead and hit the jailbreak button. And um, in just a second here, uh, it's going to go through a couple screens on Red Snow. Nothing's going to happen to your device. Just let Red Snow do its thing for just a second here. And uh, the first process should be complete in about a minute. Once the first process is complete, you're going to be taken to a screen that looks like this. This is a very important screen. Um, basically, the only option you have here, just make sure that um, your device is the correct device you're going to be jailbreaking. It should say iPhone um, or iPod Touch or whatever you're jailbreaking and then the firmware up here. But uh, like I said, the most important part of this screen is the Install Cydia button. Make sure that that option is checked. You don't have to worry about anything else. Just make sure Install Cydia is checked and it will automatically install Cydia onto your device. And then go ahead and click next. Now the rest of the process is going to take place on your device as well as Red Snow. It's going to give you a few screens and stuff like that. Uh, basically I'm going to cut back here to the iDevice and show you guys what it should look like but there's going to be a lot of strange looking screens, a lot of uh, different things going on on your iDevice. Just go ahead and leave it alone. Um, make sure that you don't touch Red Snow. You don't mess with your iDevice. You don't unplug it. You don't open up iTunes or anything like that. Uh, just basically leave Red Snow, Red Snow alone. Leave your computer alone. Leave uh, your iDevice alone and um, the entire process should take uh, about five to ten minutes all the white text on the screen is completely normal. Whatever you see my iDevice going through right now uh, is going to be normal and your iDevice will do the same. Uh, like I said, uh, just go ahead and leave it alone for just a few minutes and it should be done in, uh, in a little while. So once the process is all done, I went ahead and cut through all the boring parts uh, and whatnot, but basically uh, once it's all done, your uh, iDevice should restart and come back to the slide to unlock screen or to the home screen. And the next thing that I want to show you is um, how we're going to basically restart and uh, boot our iDevice using Red Snow. If you ever have to restart or reboot or power down your device uh, for any reason, this is how you boot it back up and make sure that you don't lose any of your jailbroken stuff or anything like that. So go back into Red Snow and go ahead and go into Extras and before we do anything we're gonna go ahead and put our device into DFU mode once again so uh, just like we did before go ahead and hold down the home and power button for about 10 seconds or uh, until your device powers off completely and then after about 10 seconds just go ahead and release the power button but keep holding down the home button uh, for about another seven seconds um, or until iTunes recognizes it in DFU mode uh, and if you don't know if it's in DFU, no DFU mode or not you can go ahead and go back on Red Snow and just double check 
check it should say once again connected iPhone 4 DFU mode uh, so like I said go back into extras here hit just boot and then all you have to do is wait just a couple more minutes here and your device will be booted and all of your jailbroken stuff including Cydia will be accessible uh, it'll all be saved and everything will be back to normal as your device is powering back on, you should see a lovely uh, pineapple logo here, and that means that everything went smoothly. That means your device is back to being jailbroken. It's back to having Cydia and, and all the fun stuff uh, on it. So uh, as it's powering back on, uh, everything should be good to go. And if you had any issues, just go ahead and run the Just Boot um, program once again. Just go ahead and hit that button again and follow all the steps, and, and you shouldn't really have any issues. It should all go pretty smoothly. So once your device is all powered back on, you should should be good to go. Cydia should be back on your device and all of your jailbroken stuff should be pres uh, preserved. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, if you need any help with anything, if you ran into any uh, problems or issues or want any more information, uh, definitely don't hesitate to post a comment down below or send me a message and let me know uh, what's wrong and I will do my best to help you. As always, hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed. Also hit that subscribe button for future Apple videos. Uh, like I said, if you need anything, post a comment down below. Uh, and let me know and I'll see you guys later.